When you are working with matrix in MATLAB, there are several requirements that you need to fulfill. What if you need to work with a specific element of that matrix to work with? Or you need to work with specific row or a specific column? Or you want to work with specific set of data from that matrix? How to achieve all these things? This is MATLAB dashboard and now we'll work with the element extraction from the matrix. This is the script of our previous video where we have did standard matrix multiplication and element wise matrix multiplication. And that is really important when you are working with matrix in MATLAB. So if you are interested in learning that thing, then after this video, you definitely go and watch that video. That would help you a lot. But for time being, we are just commenting it out. Okay, so this is our matrix A and now we'll run it. Let's change the folder, add path. So this is our A matrix, right? Now suppose I want to extract this 5. So what we do, we'll create another variable where we store the value of 5 and we'll say B is equal to and now we need to specify the location of this element. It is a part of matrix A, so it's A into bracket now we need to specify the location of this element it is in second row and second column so we'll write 2 comma 2 row and column and that's it now let's run it again now you can see that 5 is extracted from the B the same way what if you want to extract entire row for example, we want to extract this third row, right? So again, we'll do, we'll create another variable. That row is the part of matrix A. So A into bracket, which row we want to extract? Row number three. So it's third row, comma, which column? So in third row, there are multiple data, right? So there are three columns. We want element from all these three columns. So what we'll do, we'll write colon. That represents we want entire column, right? So now let's run it again. And you can see here, we have seven, eight, nine, the entire third row. Instead of this third row, what if we want uh, a second column entire second column 2 5 and 8 so here we will make another variable a into bracket now we want elements from all the rows right so we want all the rows and column number 2 so to represent all the rows we'll use colon and comma second column now let's run so here we have entire second row now what we are going to do we want to extract a specific set of data from this for example we want to extract four five seven eight so we'll make another variable e is equal to and the data set is the part of a so now our data set is four five seven eight so it's starting from column number two up to column number three so what we'll write two jam three comma and in columns it going from column number one to column number three so one jam column number two sorry it's not three it's column two break it over and now for example we don't want to see these datas so let's hide all of them and run so there we go here we have four five seven eight so this is how you can extract a specific set of data from entire matrix. And now it's time for the Excel sheet.